Good morning, year six. How are you? Okay, let's discuss about how to calculate the area of a square or a rectangle. Previously, you have learned how to find the perimeter of uh, polygons, perimeter of shapes, and also perimeter of compound shapes. This time you're going to uh, learn how to find the area of a square and rectangle. And then later on, we are going to find also the area of compound shapes. Okay. These are our learning objective. You need to know how to calculate the area of a square and rectangle using a formula and find the missing side given the area also solve board problems. Now, what is area? Area is the amount of space taken up by a flat surface. Like for example, we have an example here. Okay. The shaded with green, okay, is a shape. So let's find the area. What is the area of this shape shaded in green in the grid? So you just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There are 18 squares. If we are going to say that each square counts centimeter, so there are 18 square centimeter, or we can write it as 18 centimeter square. Okay, the two, the number two raised above centimeter, we read it as square. Okay, so meaning an area is the, <clears throat> it's the flat surface or the surface inside the shape. How many square we can find within the shape? That's why we say square centimeter, or we can say centimeter um, or centimeter square or meter square or inches square or yard square. So it depends on what metric unit we are going to use, okay? So just remember that area is the amount or the, the, the space taken up in a flat surface. So let's find how many squares inside, okay? Now here we have also the gray shaded part. There are all 42 squares in centimeters. So, or we can say 42 centimeter square. Now, how about this? What is the area of the rectangle shaded in green? So we have, Eight. Okay. So if we are going to use the formula of finding the area, the formula is area equals length times the width. So keep this in your mind, okay? The formula in finding the area of a rectangle is length times width. So here we have eight squares, eight squares, eight centimeter. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. The width is six centimeter. So if we are going to use our formula, we can say that the area is six times, or we can say eight times, oops, eight times six equals 48 centimeter, 48 centimeter squared. Okay, so we are multiplying by using the formula. Oops. By using the formula. Just remember the formula to find the area 
of a rectangle. Now, if we have a square, remember a square has a square has equal sides. So one, two, three, one, two, three. We just the, so the area of this square is just multiply it by itself. Three times three equals nine centimeter squared. Okay, so this is how to find the area of a rectangle and a square. And anyway, if squares are given, just count how many squares inside the shape, and that is the area. Okay, simple. Now, We have an example here. So this is a rect uh, this is a square. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four times four is 16 centimeter. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So six times three is 18 centimeter squared. The same thing as the others, just count how many squares and that is the area. So this is how to find the area of a rectangle and a square. So you can just say A, which is area four times four, and you will get 16. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one and two. So this is two and this is seven. Just multiply it two times seven, equals 14. So it is 14 centimeter squared. Okay, this is how to find. So make sure that when you're looking for the area of a square or rectangle, you have. I want you to show always the working and also the unit. Okay, now let's move on. So how about, so now you know how to find the area of a square and area of a rectangle by using the formula, area is equals to length times width. How about if the, the, the missing side is missing? Okay, like for example, let's read our problem here. A parking space has an area of, is an area, area of 72 square meters and it is nine meters long how wide okay therefore when you are solving a problem i advise you to draw now the area is given which is a is equals to 72 square centimeter next is the length is there, which is nine, nine meters. Okay, uh, this is so area equals seventy two centimeter square. Okay, and the width is not there. Okay. So this is we need to find. Now, remember the formula to find the area of a rectangle is length times width. Area is given, which is 72, okay? And the length is given, which is nine, times the width is not there, okay? So nine times what equals 72? So if it's multiplication, then what we do with this two? What's the opposite of multiplication? Yes, very good, it's 72. So 72 divided by nine equals eight. Therefore, the width is eight, okay? So now if you're going to put in there, so nine times eight is 72. So the width here is eight, okay? 
So make sure that when you are solving problem, it is better to draw an illustration or a diagram and then write down the given numbers following your formula. Okay? Okay. Now let's move on again. Okay, here in this part, okay, in your student book, page 146, question one, and page 150, question two, you can try to answer first before we are going to answer together, okay? So you need to calculate the area of each of the shapes, show your working out, okay? So make sure that you're going to show the working, okay? So, and remember the formula to find the area is length times the width. You can pause your video and answer first. Okay, so let's answer letter A and then the rest you are going to answer. I will just explain. Okay, so. As I said, area, oh, okay, area, length is six and the width is two, okay? Then, so meaning, what is the area? 12 centimeter square, okay? Now, next in letter B, again, you're going to write the formula complete work, eight times 5.5. What's the answer? So it will be equals 44 centimeter squared. All right, now let's do the letter D and this one is only four centimeter, one times four only. Yes, so it is four meter squared. You can check your answer. Now let's go to letter D. So letter D is A equals 12.5 times 6.4. So it's only purely multiplication. Okay, so 12.5 times 6.4. You have learned already how to multiply. So I hope you know what how to multiply that one. So that will be 80 Now if you could look here the metric unit is meter so you have to write also meter squared okay now i think you can do the rest so this one is area equals 120 times 10 meters which is 120 times 10 so meter squared all right so now the rest you can try this by yourself. So make sure that you are going to answer it with the complete working. Now, question two, if you could see the question two is there are two, okay? We don't know what is the measurement of the side of the yellow one, but we know the blue one. The blue is 30 by 30, so it's a square. Now, the shaded part from here, can you see the arrow? from this line up to this line, it's five meters. So that means to say from here to this one, the measurement is five. So therefore that is already five and five, it's 10. So what will be here now? So we will cut this out. So that will be gone, that will be gone. So what will be this part? This is the five, this is five. So what is this left here? It is 20. So therefore, this is 20 by 20, okay? 
So this is 5 plus 5, 30 minus 10 is 20. Therefore, the yellow, the yellow square is, the area is 20 times 20 is 400. Centimeter squared. Okay, so that is the lesson about finding the area of our square and rectangle. Okay, one more example. How about if I have a big one? Wait. Um, We have the red square. Okay. Then oh. and a rectangle inside. The rectangle inside is a hole. This is a hole. Okay, so the measurement of the square, the red square is 25 centimeter, or let's say 25. Now, this is a square and this one, And this one is 10 centimeter meters by five meters. What is the area of the red square? Okay, remember this one, we need to find the area of the red square. So the first thing you're going to do is find the area of the red square. Right, which is 25 times 25, oops. 25 times 25, meter square. Then you're going to find now the area of the hole. Which is 10 times 5 equals 50 meter Square. So what will be the area of the red? Because this is a hole. This is not a part of the area of the red, okay? So what you're going to do next, you are going to subtract the area of the red square and the area of the hole, which is 50. Okay, so five, seven, five. So the area, the total area So the area is 575 meters. Okay? So this is how to find the area, just remember only the area of the formula to find the area 
of a rectangle and the square. And you can solve already the question. So whenever you have a missing side, the opposite will be division. Okay? I hope you understand and, uh, and uh, see you in the next lesson. The next lesson will be the area of compound shape by using the formula also of finding the area. Okay, by for now, uh, year six, I hope you understand how to find the area. Bye, thank you for listening and watching.